Good afternoon. Welcome back, everybody. The first item of business this afternoon is time for reflection. And our time for reflection leader today is the Reverend Alexander Ritchie, Minister of Erskine United Free Church, Burnt Island, and a former moderator of the General Assembly. Presiding officer, I greatly appreciate the opportunity to address Parliament this afternoon. During a recent trip to California, I attended an NBA basketball game between the Los Angeles Lakers and the Clippers. Sport has always interested me. Part of my ministry involves chaplaincy with East Fife Football Club, close to my home community of Burnt Island. The indoor Staples Centre was somewhat warmer and infinitely drier than Bayview Stadium outside on a Saturday afternoon in any month of the year. Basketball teams are allowed to call timeouts in the course of each game. This lets them discuss their tactics, make a substitution, or simply encourage each other. Crucially, during each timeout, the match clock is paused and doesn't move until the timeout ends. This brief session is labelled time for reflection. It creates a space for quiet thought before the clock of parliamentary business starts to tick. Let me suggest that whether you are a person of faith or not, it remains a basic human need to make time for that pause. To think rather than to speak, look at ourselves rather than everyone else, for calm stillness rather than frantic activity. From my own tradition, Jesus shared personal truths with others, often getting right to the heart of the person rather than at the superficial level of their outward appearance. One wealthy man turned away when he couldn't face selling his possessions to live a transformed spiritual existence. Another woman at a well found herself with someone able to explain all about her lifestyle. In her own words, come, see a man who told me everything I ever did. No timeouts yet enforced in Scottish football, but we certainly need them in the midst of life's pressures and stress. We in the United Free Church of Scotland pray for this chamber and all its members faithfully, asking God for the wisdom and counsel necessary for you to guide our national life. I hope that in the course of this week, and indeed this very busy day, each of you will take more than just this time out. Any quiet yet creative way enabling you to recharge, reconfigure, reboot, whatever idiom works for you. For me, prayer is vital. A faith aid which is always accessible and never unavailable. Remember that the game clock pauses whilst you reflect. So the potential benefits are great, not least because no ground is lost and nothing has changed. You will return to the fray wiser and enriched, perhaps more balanced in perspective and more conciliatory in approach. Presiding officer, thank you. 